Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2011 Audi Q5. Up top we've got the Kurt, part number C13136. And then on bottom we've got the draw type, part number 75940. The first obvious difference between these two hitches is that as you can see, they look very different from each other. And although they look very different and mount up differently, they're going to come out in about the same position on the vehicle. On the Kurt, when it's mounted on the vehicle, you are going to be able to see this cross tube a little bit, but it's also tucked back underneath the vehicle far enough that it's not going to be very noticeable. You should have enough room with most of your Class 3 accessories without having to worry about them hitting the rear of your vehicle. Down here on the draw tight, the way that it's constructed, you're only going to see from about here down. So you're really just going to see the receiver tube and the safety chain connection points. Another noticeable difference between these two hitches is the safety chain connection points. On the Kurt, it's got this flat steel plate on the bottom. It's got these large holes that are cut out. But down here on the draw tight, it's got these two vertical steel plates on either side that are part of the reinforcement brace that goes up to that cross tube. So it comes down below the bottom of the receiver tube here. So this is gonna minimize your clearance. So if you've got maybe a driveway with a steep hill and you run the possibility of scraping and need all the ground clearance you can get, you may wanna take that into consideration. A nice feature about the draw tight is it features two pinholes. It's got the larger, 5 8 inch hitch pin hole that's going to be used to secure all the class 3 accessories. Then here we've also got the smaller half inch hole and that's going to be used with a J pin stabilization which helps eliminate any shake and play in the shank inside the receiver tube to make for a quieter more comfortable ride for your accessory. Both of these hitches have the same weight ratings. Both are rated at 750 pound max tongue weight rating, which is the maximum downward force that you can put on the inside edge of the receiver tube opening here. And they also both feature a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is the weight of the trailer and anything that you may have loaded up on it. You will want to make sure that your vehicle is capable of that type of weight, and you can check the owner's manual in order to do that. With this Kurt hitch, they do require the use of a stabilization strap with all non-trailer loads and you can get one of those on our site, part number 18050. Neither of these hitches are rated for use with a weight distribution system. Both of these hitches are going to take a little bit of time to install, but following the instructions, they're not terribly difficult. Now to give you a brief summary of these two hitches, they both have the same weight capacity. They're both going to give you about the same clearance with your accessories away from the vehicle, but with the draw tight, you are going to have a little bit less ground clearance. Both of these hitches are going to be about the same when it comes to towing. When it comes to use with things like bike racks and cargo carriers, they're going to give you about the same amount of clearance away from the rear of the vehicle. The only real difference is if you have a J-pin stabilization system, the draw tight is going to be compatible with that. We hope this helps in the decision making process for a hitch for your Audi Q5. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.